I'm Whitney. And I'm Ken. And our kids are Griffin, five, Josie, two, and Amelia, one. And they all go to the Hearing and Speech Center. Well, in 2020, we started noticing that Griffin was regressing a little bit in his speech and um, we realized that he needed some assistance and we tried to go through a couple different avenues, but really we didn't see any um, real change until he got to the Hearing and Speech Center in 2021. When he would try to engage with other kids, he would try to pa pass ball with other kids or just engage with them. And because he didn't have his voice, he didn't uh, have an avenue to help him engage with that. Now, because he has his voice, um, though he's still something he's working on, he can actually engage with peers and he actually has a lot of friends. like others to know about the Hearing and Speech Center, just what an amazing family-like atmosphere it is. Literally everybody there knows who Griffin is, knows how to help him if he's having trouble, knows how to communicate with him if he's struggling. Um, they've all supported us and our other children and us as parents and they've just been such an absolute uh, joy to work with. He's still working on his speech, but he looks like every other kindergartner today compared to what he was before where he was barely speaking and he wasn't able to be in a classroom setting. So it's just been amazing. And one of the great things is that if they don't have a certain aspect of a therapy that uh, a child needs, they make sure to get it for them. They specifically worked with uh, Mr. Ben Davis, uh, who's a, his ABA therapist, um, found him a room in the building and made it his own. And now he's, not only has he treated Griffin and Griffin graduated from ABA therapy, um, he's now helping other kids. Um, just shows you how much that they care about the kids and make sure that they have the help that they need. We would like to express gratitude to everybody who supports the center and what it does for families. Griffin would not be where he is today without their support and um, we're just very thankful for everyone at HSC and everybody who supports them.